let's get started with our supplies for this project so you're going to need some craft sticks you're going to need a glue gun and glue sticks self laminate sheet and some 90 pound glossy cardstock and then of course a Cricut machine or any cutting machine let's move into design space i'm going to go ahead and upload my image this would be your customer's image save as a print then cut and then you want to make sure that you have a complex quality when uploading it once you have that uploaded you want to go and grab a rounded square from your shapes don't worry about the size of the fan just yet we're just going to make the design and go back in and size it up so what i am doing now is placing my picture over this rectangle rounded square whatever you want to call it going to select them both and slice so this is going to make my picture into that rounded rounded square look all right so now i'm going to add in my text i'm going to have congrats so i'm going to do a c hit space hit o hit space hit n all the way down till we get to the s now this is too spaced out for me so you want to go up to the top and hit line space and you want to reduce it until it's enough space um how you want it to look and then you're going to put in the name i'm going to use the same font make that a pretty nice size stick it there you want to go ahead and hide your picture over there with the little eye i'm going to select Congrats and Sade and make this blue. And then I am going to go in and select congrats. Want to go up to the top and hit offset. This offset I am going to do 0 0.09. You want to play around with this yourself and move that circle and see which size works best for you. Once you do that, you want to make sure you have weld offsets on. Hit apply. It's going to automatically make it black. I'm going to click that and make it yellow. And then I'm going to go back and do the same thing for Sade. Now you can do both of these at the same time. How we did the blue, just click, um, group them together, and then do the offset and put the um, yellow on it instead of doing them separately how I just did. And then I'm going to group them both, the yellow and the blue. And I'm going to go in and put another offset this one is going to do 0.10 again change the color and i'm going to use white then we're going to add our picture back in and you want to select the picture i'm going to put a 0.10 offset on this one and we're going to make this one yellow and once you've done that you want to go in and grab everything that we've just done put another offset on top of that one I hit apply we're gonna make this white guys this is just simply putting offsets on words it's that simple putting your offsets on changing your colors we're gonna group this all together flatten it change the size my width is five inches my height is seven hit make it print it use system dialog make sure you choose the best print glossy or matte doesn't matter because we're going to go in and use the laminate to make this a little bit glossier and a little thicker so i have my one-sided laminate i am only going to peel off half of the top not even that just a little bit enough to place above that black line once you do that you want to get your scissors and trim that paper away so you're left with just some of the laminate and then the rest still stuck to the paper and make sure that there's no air bubbles because it will get air bubbles onto the picture itself so if you just have to smooth it out before you put it on please do so how you see in the video i'm going to take that laminate that's exposed and put it above the line if your Cricut machine has troubles cutting, do it below. Mine doesn't when I put laminate, so I like to go to the top. And I'm just simply going to peel this backing off slowly and let it drop onto my picture. Grab my squeegee and make sure it's smooth. 
we're going to use craft board settings to cut this out we're going to let the machine do its thing here's the image cut out with the laminate on the top now we're going to grab our craft sticks and our glue gun you're going to go halfway into that craft stick so about four inches these are eight inch sticks so you want to put enough on there so that it can stick not too much where it won't come off the side of the stick and look very messy on the back but press that down real gently you don't want to mess up the picture all right and let it dry of course before you start putting all the fans together you will have glue sticking to the front side and it will mess up the laminate so i'm going to do this second one again about four inches down into the middle stick it directly into the middle of your picture press down firmly let it dry and here are the finished products guys look at this super cute simple and easy